An exciting night for you guys tonight. Obviously, there's a few awards that you're up for. Which one is uh, the one you're wanting the most? Are they both on equal terms? Yeah, well, we're up, we're up for think, Best Presenter yeah. and Best Entertainment Show. I think if we could get any, yeah. that would be amazing. It's so like, we're, like, seriously, if we get one, then we'll want the other. But I just think, don't be greedy. All right. <laughs> I am. I'm a little bit more competitive than Sam. I think like we both we both love the fact that we're nominated and all this stuff, but we want to win. We don't, you know. Yeah, that's no, of course, it'd be lovely to win. Yeah, it would be it, amazing. To be fair, either one would be uh, would be amazing. To say we've we're, we're, we've won a BAFTA, you know what I mean? Would be amazing. So, um, kids' televisions like copycats. These are the type of programs that tend to be en more enjoyable for the adults as well as the kids, aren't they? I find myself watching these programs and being enjoying them such as, as much as a, a small child would. Is that, is that the sort of main ingredient for a good programme like that? I think, I think in general, CBBC is trying to go for a family audience anyway. I think like, uh, that's amazing. That, like, if you can get all the family together, get remote control, turn on CBBC, get, get entertained, all the family, I think that's the way that we should be looking, yeah. really. I and think that's the way it is. Parents want to be able to put their kids in front of something that they know is safe. And but at the same time, if they can enjoy it, then brilliant. I remember when I was a kid sitting down and my mum and dad, you know, watching, you know, SMTV Live and Live and Kicking and stuff like that and absolutely loving it. And, you know, if we do the same, then that's brilliant. I was going to say, what were, what were your favourite kind of programmes growing and what inspired you as performers to go into singing, first of all, and then obviously into presenting? I, I, I love Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies? Did you know that? That was before going live. Uh, show me age now, mate. Yet. But I used to I used to love watching that, getting up at like you know the crack of dawn, watching the cartoons, and then watching Philip Schofield, Sarah Green, you know, and then it was live and kicking, and then you got like, obviously you got SMTV, CD UK, SMTV all that stuff. for me as well was was yeah. just amazing. I mean, Ant and Deck on that when they first started was amazing, especially for us now who are duos and the, the thing we went on to singing and Ant and Deck presented Pop Idol and you know I think for us you know they're, they're a huge obviously a huge inspiration and um, so yeah when you think back that we've done Saturday morning TV as well it's it's incredible to to think you see your career is going from here then for say the next five ten years I think it's downhill from here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no it's simply not we're just gonna try and carry on enjoying ourselves doing great shows like trying to get like people you know family to watch yeah. and that's what it's all about just really enjoy doing what we do you know we, we genuinely just have a laugh on TV, and if we can keep doing that for the rest of our lives, we have got it sewn up. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's as Sam says, it's not working down the pit. It's not. It's not at all. If you were asked to do a reality show like Dancing on Ice, yes. would you? Would you go in the jungle? Would you do something like what Mark's done? Well, we, we've done Dancing on Ice before, which was terrifying. Um, I don't know. It's weird. You, it's weird. Isn't it? If you got asked, you'd, you'd have to seriously think about it, it's especially a show like I'm a Celebrity. I mean, the fact of being able to go to Australia. I mean, you've been to Australia. I've never been. It's great. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about I'm a celebrity, that, how great it would be, yeah, that's the fact that like, you've got to eat fish eyes and you know all that stuff, but uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be entertaining. Definitely, it, definitely yeah. without doubt, you know what I mean, you'd be silly not to, but uh, who knows.